the rest of people, both men and women, who are from the same background as us, who speak the same language as us, who have the same color as us, who could care less about us. And these are the people that our parents are forcing upon us because they feel like these people, we speak the same language, we do the same things, we came from the same place, therefore we are meant to be together. No, it is not always the same. It is not necessarily the same thing. Hello ladies, hello gents. Thank you for being here today. My name is Vera Skinner and you know that I do not take your presence here for granted. Ladies and gentlemen, today's video is gonna get me into trouble. But these are the things that we need to be talking about because I have seen firsthand what this has done to many people. But before we dive right into the video of today, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell that way you know when we do have new uploads and hit the thumbs up button that way you're telling YouTube that this is a nice video, please put it in front of other people. That is the way we grow this channel. Share this video with your family and friends. Share this video especially with your parents and your siblings. Thank you so much and let us dive right in to the video. Parents, enough. Enough with the tribalism. Enough with the racism. Enough with the stereotypes. This is not helping any of us. Today's video, we're talking about racism. We're talking about tribalism. We're talking about stereotypes. We're talking about upbringings and what have you not. I totally understand that this is a topic that is very fragile. This is a topic that most people don't talk about. This is a topic that people are suffering with and that's how they're gonna pass this from generation to generation to generation. Marriage is a beautiful thing. It is something that brings the best out of you if you do it right. It is something that makes families. It is something that brings people together from the north, from the west, from the south, from the east, from other continents, from other tribes, from other villages. It is not something that has to be based on one's color. It is not something that has to be based on whether this person is from your tribe or not. It is not something that has to be so minute that you say it cannot happen because someone is from this place, that place, or this place. It is not something that has to be brought down to the color of somebody. It is not, it's not something that has to be brought down to the race of somebody. And this is something that we are dealing with day in, day out. And because parents have done this to their kids, their kids are then doing it to their kids, and this becomes a vicious cycle. It is something that we need to put an end to it. Now I get it. Sometimes we do things because of what we think. We do things because of what we think is right. We do things because of how we grew up. We do things because of the way our ancestors, the way the people that came before us did them. But there are some things that needs to be abolished. There are some things that has to be put in a can and burnt. Parents, we need to do better. We need to do better by our kids. We need to do better by our brother's kids. We need to do better by our sister's kids and the kids in the society because they are looking up to you for validation. They are looking up to you for guidance. They are looking up to you for protection. They are looking up to you for love. They are looking up to you for acceptance. They are looking up to you for all those things and you fall short. Meanwhile, these are things that you can actually do. These are things that if you could just have a broader mind, these are things that if you could just open up your mind to the way life is, to the way the Bible says life is supposed to be, then we are going to have a better life. We are going to have better homes. There are people today who have gotten married to people that they have no business marrying. There are people today who have given birth to children that they have no business burdening those children. There are people who have stayed in homes that they have no business staying in that home because of what their parents say, because of what their uncles say, because of what their aunties say, because of what their grandparents say, because of what people that they don't even know and they have not seen say. Tribalism, racism, what have you not? This is the number one reason for loveless marriages. 
This is the number one reason for abuse in marriages. Because when you take a man and hand him over to a woman, or you take a woman and hand him over to a man that they don't know themselves, that they don't love themselves, when these people have gathered up this frustration, when they are linked together and they cannot find a common ground, that is how they start abusing each other. That is how they start vomiting venom on each other. And this is something that could be avoided if only you had given this thing an open mind. Two people who have no business being together. Two people who have no business being in a marriage. But they have come together and they are in a marriage because their parents put them there. And the reason why their parents put them there is because of the benefits that they will get from each other. The benefits that they will get from those people. Regardless of how these people were in that marriage feel. Regardless of whether they want to be with each other or not. Regardless of whether they are compatible or not. Regardless of whether they will be able to go through a marriage in a light that is better for them and the kids that they will produce. But because these parents know that they are going to gain something from this other family, they put these people together. Because they want to seal a political deal, they put these people together. Because they don't like who this person brought at home, they make sure that they sabotage it. Without even taking the time to understand what their children need. Without taking the time to understand who they are their values and what they want to be or who they want to be with we gotta stop this people go as far as stopping their kids from marrying someone because of the color of their skin you cannot make a human being how dare you choose somebody because of their color i know i'm speaking to parents and i'm being as respectful as i can be but the decisions that you guys make are bringing problems to the kids the decisions that your children are going to make down the line is going to affect their kids because there are some ladies or men that you see them in a loveless marriage and because their parents put them in that marriage and because they had to go through all this pain they decide that they will do that same thing to another person because they don't know better so when it is time for their own kids to marry to make sure that the woman that comes into that house or the man that comes into that house they pour all their venom on them they cannot genuinely love this person because this person is coming from another place and woe betide you this woman that is coming in if you're coming in because their son loves you they will treat you in a manner that is beneath you because you are getting a marriage that they could not get how dare you they ask when a man is well managed he is consistent he has integrity and loves a woman deeply vice versa their being together has got nothing to do with race with age with color with tribe and nationality this is not something that we have to be basing those decisions on let people marry who they want as long as those people are right for them as long as those people respect them as long as those people love them as long as those people can be responsible for them love is the only universal language because we tend to take two people and join them together when there is no love among them when there is no understanding among them when there is no communication among them and we expect them to live happily how can they do that brothers sisters when someone loves you deeply when someone has shown you over and over and over that they respect you that they want to be with you that they care for you and you have those same feelings towards them you have to break down all those barriers all those stereotypes that your ancestors and whoever put on you and go for that person because that is only how you can truly have a good life and i'm not saying that be rebellious i'm not saying that don't get their approval i'm not saying that don't get their blessings i'm saying that make an effort make them understand that this is who you want to be with let them have the opportunity to vet these people that you have brought to them let them have an open mind and be with these people so they can see for themselves what you're trying to say 
because yes i totally get it there are some times that we are blinded by love there are some times that we really want to be with someone even though they are not good for us and then we run away and get married to them and then down the line we start having problems this is a total different ballgame this is not what i am saying i am saying in a situation where you know for a fact that this is somebody that truly loves you this is somebody that has been there for you thick and thin this is somebody that you have the same feelings towards take these people to your parents let them vet them do not let your parents rest until they have given an open mind to what you're trying to tell them and do not let them say no for their own selfish reasons. It is always very important that when someone tells you no, ask why. Because sometimes our parents tell us no. And when you ask why, they tell you that no, they don't have a reason. They should have a reason why they are telling you not to pursue that relationship. They should have a reason why they are telling you not to be with this person. Because most times it is about their own selfish gains. Let me tell you guys something. There are some people both men and women who are from the same background as us, who speak the same language as us, who have the same color as us, who could care less about us. And these are the people that our parents are forcing upon us because they feel like these people will speak the same language, we do the same things, we came from the same place, therefore we are meant to be together. No, it is not always the same. It is not necessarily the same thing. Because yes, there are people who have successful marriages that have married people from their same tribe. But it's because of the love that they have. It's because of the, the foundation that they have built. You know, one thing that we have to understand is that marriage is the foundation of things. It is the foundation of the family. And from that marriage, you will bore kids. And those kids will in turn bore their own kids. And that is how we grow and make a society. So it is very important that before you get married to someone, it should be somebody that you can live with. It is somebody that you can communicate with. It is somebody that you guys align. Your values align. Your mindsets align. That is very important. There are some people who say they want to have somebody from the same background because they feel like someone who is coming from the same background can speak their language, especially the men. They will say they want a woman from their tribe because a woman from their tribe can cook the kind of meals that they like. A woman from the same um, country can cook the same meals that they've been eating. So they don't want to go away from that. They don't want to stray away from that. So they want to marry a woman from their village. But there are women out there who are from the same village as you who don't know how to cook. So what are you going to do with them? Will you marry a woman solely because you think that she can cook the kind of meal that you like? Cooking is not something that people were born with. Cooking is something that people learn. There are women out there who will learn how to cook the same meal that you eat because they love you and because they want to be with you, you know, and because they enjoy doing these things for you. That should not be the reason why you are marrying a woman just because she can cook. Because there are other factors that come into play before you make a decision to get married to a woman. There is this lady on YouTube, right? The handle is Seasoning Angels. This woman, she is married to a Cameroonian. But she is a white woman. Someone will say, why do you get married to a white woman? She will not be able to cook your traditional meals. But I bet you this woman can cook this man's traditional meals better than other women who are from the same tribe. If she can be teaching people how to cook it on her channel, and I watch some of her videos, and I see the spices that she's using, and the way that she is using them, this shows that she knows what she is doing. That is because she learned how to do it. Cooking is something that can be learned if this woman or the man is willing to learn. That should not be a reason why you don't get married to someone because you feel like they cannot cook what you like to eat. They will learn it if they want to. And this woman is doing a fantastic job at what she is doing. Her children are eating the same meals that she's cooking. So she's teaching her children the kind of food that the husband eats. That way when they're in the United States or wherever they find themselves in the world, they are able to eat foods from different regions because of the way she raised them. And that is the value that you want in a woman. Not where she's coming from, not her skin color or her language that she speaks. Parents, I'm begging you, change your reasoning. Change your mindset. Stop the stereotypes. Stop the tribalism. Stop the racism. Have an open mind. If you see your son or your daughter saying that they want to get married to somebody, 
make an effort try to know this person for yourself because you can see something that they are not seeing and they can see something that you have not seen and when you get to know this person then you'll be able to understand why they want to be with this person and when you get to know this person you'll be able to say no from a place of knowing not from a place of stereotype you'll be able to say no to that marriage from a place of love not from a place of racism you'll be able to say no from a place of you understanding the situation not from tribalism it is very important that before you say yes to a thing or you say no to a thing you have an informed decision that is why you have to have knowledge of this person before you can tear your daughter or your son's life down because if you do not change your mindset you will end up being a miserable person because there are people or there are children who will not listen to you and then they will run away and get married to these people meanwhile if you had decided or have an open mind and try to get to know this person then you will pour your blessings on them and they can go live happily ever after because i understand that most parents they want to be in their children's life they want to be in their children's marriages they want to be there to see that most joyful day of their children's life and if you are not part of this decision they will make it with or without you so which side do you want to be on there are some parents who are very toxic yes parents can be toxic and we do a whole video about toxic parents some parents can be toxic and they can be very manipulative because a father or mother will see the love that their children have for them and because they know that these children are very respectful they know that these children love them too much they will tell these children that you cannot get married to somebody and this will be over my dead body that you will get married to someone out of our culture because you feel like when you use manipulative words like that these children are going to back out because they don't want you to die there is power in the tongue if you feel like your child will not get married to somebody over your dead body then so be it because you cannot because of your own selfish reasons deprive this child from their happiness deprive this child from something that they could build in their future you've come to this world you've lived your life maybe happily with your husband or maybe happily with your wife and then when it comes for time for your children to marry you're bringing tribalism into it you're bringing racism into it you're bringing color into it just because you want to keep them away from certain kind of people meanwhile it is not supposed to be like that because sometimes you say over your dead body but you will live to see that thing that you don't want to see so it is better for you to really be loving and kind enough to make sure that you stay your children to path of success you stay your children to path of wisdom you stay your children to the path of happiness brothers and sisters this is not a video for you to go and be disrespectful to your parents so that's not what i'm talking about i am not saying that go and be disrespectful to your parents i'm not saying that elope and get married because of the first sign of trouble I am speaking to the parents and I am speaking to you that if you have somebody that you want to marry bring them to your parents let them give you their blessing if they cannot give you their blessing do your best to see that they give you their blessing you get what I'm saying because their blessings are very important in our lives no matter what we're saying please 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 do not be disrespectful to your parents because your parents were placed on this earth and they were chosen as a vessel to bring you to the world. So you owe them that respect. All I'm saying is that they are also human beings and they can make wrong decisions. So that's where you come in to enlighten them on how you feel about this person, to enlighten them on other things of the world and try to make them, persuade them to have an open mind because they are doing that for your good. Parents, when a child brings someone home that they want to marry, ask yourself this question. Other than their color, their culture, their race, their background, the language that they speak, what is it that you despise about them? And if there is nothing that you see that is wrong with them, apart of all those things that we've listed, please let your children go ahead and get married to them. Because that is who they have chosen. 
that is who they love and you yourself you see that they are good for them except for all those things that are blinding you if there is nothing that you see that is wrong with them a part of all the things that we've listed then it is your bias that is speaking not what this person has done or what you think they will do to your child love is the only universal language it is colorless it is not something that we see it is something that we do we have to understand that human cognitive abilities are the same and so are their bodies it doesn't matter where they come from it doesn't matter the race the continent or whatever language that they speak understand this parents in some cases you may be right about this person maybe just maybe they are wrong for your child maybe they are not the right person because you've lived a longer life and there are some things that you have learned out of experience that you can tell the younger generation but then if you do not take the time out to know this person if you do not take the time out to get to know them to go close to them how will you know that your point is valid how will you even know that they are wrong for your children so it is very important to take that extra step to try to know this person because there are some parents out there that will even say that their children should remain unmarried if they have to marry someone that they don't like or if someone that is not from their culture that is wrong parents it is really wrong you've lived a full life give this child an opportunity to live a good life as well thank you so much for watching today's video please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell that way you know when we have new uploads and please don't shoot the messenger but take the message have a fab one stay blessed bye Mm-hmm.